occasionally you come across someone who's already done a cross tabulation say in a magazine newspaper or a peer review journal and you want to know what the chi-square analysis of this table is or you, they may have done the analysis and you just want to double check the numbers what I'm going to do here is look at this particular paper evaluating the effectiveness of barrier insulation preventing railway suicides in Hong Kong they give us a nice little table here of the type of diagnosis of the person who committed suicide um, no history of psychiatric problems or depression or psychosis or something else and then the number of suicides before the platform screen doors were installed and after the platform screen doors were installed. They do give us a chi-square analysis and we might want to check the numbers for ourselves so we can cut and paste uh, those numbers into Minitab which is what I've done here with this table and to do the analysis we go to stat tables chi-square test two-way table in worksheet. So I'm going to put in 1997 to 2001 and 2003 to 2007 and here's the analysis. Now the hypothesis is that these two variables are independent of course. The p-value is quite high uh, but many tab is giving us a warning that there are four cells with expected counts less than five. Now so this this means these numbers are a bit low. Now although this is the table that they print in the paper this isn't actually the table that they test and they tell you if you read through the text of it that what they're testing is the totals. So the totals of the people without um, a psychiatric disorder and those with before the platform screen doors and after the platform screen doors. So that's this table here. So if we go through and put that into the chi-square test two-way table in worksheet pre and post, OK. We'll see um, now we've only got two cells with low counts but overall the number of suicides through jumping in front of a train was very low so they were going to have trouble from the outset in testing this. Now what they hy hypothesize is that the platform screen doors have more of um, an effect on people with a psychosis because the people with a psychosis just try to commit suicide somewhere close to their hospital or their home whereas it has less of a deterrent effect on someone without a psychiatric disorder presumably because they're in more of a state to find an alternative if they can't get through the screen doors. So the test here is that these two things are independent and I think in the paper they were hoping to find that there was a relationship between the mental state of the person jumping and whether or not there were platform screen doors in place. But they get this really high p-value and so they suggest that they didn't find a relationship because the cell counts were, were so low and they refer you back to this table where you find that after the platform screen doors were in place there were no suicides at all from people with a psychosis whereas before the platform screen doors there were 13.